Hi, Ramen. Hey there. Uh, so what do you have there on your hand? Um, this is Petit Petit, uh, running on a Samsung Galaxy Tab. Uh, it's our software, it's uh, replacing the home screen. A standard home screen on um, Android looks like this, where you have your applications uh, on. But what we do is we shift the computing on tablets uh, from application-centric to data-centric. So what we are interested in is consolidating, meshing up and uh, diverging your different data streams. So when I um, open up my people, for example, uh, we, we do all analysis uh, along four basic dimensions, right? Which is people, things, places and time. And uh, all sorts of data that come in through emails, uh, Facebook, Twitter, browser, whatever pictures, uh, are analyzed along these four dimensions. So these are all of my um, 700 people that I have here, um, like uh, companies, uh, Facebook contacts, um, artists and so on. Um, and then uh, I open up my people here and then I say, uh, okay, um, I don't quite remember uh, who that lady was uh, uh, at Nokia. Um, so what I can do um, is I can move up Nokia and build a cut set between my people and Nokia. And then I can uh, simply scroll through this and I see, oh, that's just 17. Uh, so that's a very easy way of uh, filtering your data because you just flick up uh, icons and build more and more uh, filtered cut sets of your data. And then I can go back and say, okay, what's the, uh, the other knowledge that I have about Nokia? And I just uh, switch off the people component here. And then I get everything that I know about Nokia, like stored websites, but also uh, emails um, about Nokia, uh, uh, companies and so on. And also certainly the people that I know. So I brought it up, uh, the, the knowledge that I have, uh, just about this topic here. One of the things that you can also do is uh, you can look at the time component. We were just talking about the, the people, right? Um, but what we also have here is a universal timeline. I'll just uh, uh, show it here. Uh, you see uh, your Twitter feeds, your emails, uh, stored websites and, and uh, um, uh, all sorts of information streams that are ordered by time, you can look at them uh, at the universal timeline. So one of the standard things to do is uh, certainly take out your inbox and drag it up there and then see um, the emails that you received here um, on, on, on the timeline. Uh, but one of the nice things that Petit Petit can do is again you can filter that very easily because you just uh, take up Ashley here and you reduce all of your emails just to um, what's going on with Ashley. So it's a very easy way to look at uh, one stream uh, in one data uh, dimension uh, and filter that along, uh, along the time. Um, one of uh, the other nice things is, let's say I'm interested in my stored uh, websites. I can also take these out and drag them to the next screen and then add um, a second uh, thread here and actually see uh, two threads of data going on. This is my emails and this is um, my stored websites, right? And you could also have uh, multiple of these with Twitter and so on. So that's a very easy way to look at the um, synchronous um, ordering of data. So this actually makes searching for your stored content or your relevant content on your device so much more easier. Yes, that's that's exactly the idea because it's uh, sorted by um, it's sorted by uh, time as well as uh, topic, and you can also filter the topic. And now you see that the uh, software crashed because we just uh, went into beta um, three weeks ago. But I think it's okay. You see that it's real software. It's not. Um, an animation or something, uh, it's really going on. When you go to our websites, uh, we have a history um, of, our web, um, of our user interfaces because we were really developing it and asking users and making interviews and looking at them uh, through focus groups and so on. Um, uh, you see the history of, of our um, interface designs and this is the current version of it. Um, so it took us, I think, 15 months or something 
just to reiterate everything because there is so many things that you can do like um, when you uh, open up the lister here right uh, then you see the minus that's one of the things that people can easily remove something but you also see um, I take uh, out let's say companies and when I do that um, then you see oops then you see uh, when I have it at my finger you see here there is a plus and there is an exchange symbol so that you can actually you are guided as a user oh you can put it uh, up there so I put it up there um, and see uh, oh uh, now I see that there is a cut set between my people and my companies and I get uh, all of my companies that I know uh, so all of that is is sort of fine-tuned and looked at the user and um, make him understand uh, what he can do with this innovative um, interface and that was uh, really hard work. Oh, that's great. Are you, um, does the um, program right now, will it have haptic feed? Um, feedback? Or? It's currently not. Uh, what we have is a multi-touch uh, interface that I also can show. Um, haptic feedback right now is is not implemented but it would be nice for example uh, that's a, really a good idea uh, when you take out the inbox and move it to a different screen like I did now it should tell you uh, hey this is the last screen and you can bump against it for example that would be really nice um, so yes we could implement that certainly that's true okay. Okay, that's great. Uh, so this timeline feature, that's really interesting. I know um, Apple has like their, their timeline um, feature. Uh -huh. uh, how, did you, how did your team think about implementing a timeline? It, do you, was that, is that the, one of the most important aspects? Well, actually, um, it's one of these four dimensions because uh, when you want to represent one situation, uh, and this is where we are coming from, uh, then there is people like you and me right now uh, holding a device uh, in the hand which is a thing uh, at one certain place here in this cafeteria uh, at some certain uh, point in time so uh, this is where my neuroscience background comes in you need these four dimensions to represent one situation right and then you understand okay if you have a verb like um, uh, I'm showing you something or something like that uh, then it always implies that the situation changes and this is why you need the timeline because you want to represent uh, that uh, situations can change um, uh, very easily for example in a conversation that you have uh, in your email box um, and that's why we needed the timeline and then uh, if you understand that you implement uh, this filtering feature that we have uh, then the point is uh, you also want to have that on the timeline uh, you take your websites, put that on the timeline and then you see all of your stored articles, right? And then, um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, and then you, you can also look at, I'm interested only in the websites that I had with Nokia. So it's, it's actually boiling them down, right? Um, and this is what the power makes it up because uh, you can really reduce all of the amount of information that comes in there uh, to that information that is uh, of interest for you. Um, and I think this is the power behind the PTPT timeline. Okay, so let's get this straight. This is not an app. This is not an app. It's actually sort of a, um, sort of a layer on top of an operating system. And I'm saying that uh, we are actually not dependent on Android. We could also run on Migo if uh, it's gonna survive, uh, or on Windows or whatever. Uh, this is an interaction paradigm and an application framework. So people can actually uh, also develop software on top of that and interface with that. So you can uh, write, let's say, um, a Lotus Notes client that feeds the data into it or an or uh, Oracle um, a client or uh, an exchange client, whatever, uh, because of the power of the universal data representation that we have here in, in Petit Petit. Wow. So currently this device you have now, it's the Samsung Galaxy Tab? Sure. And uh, what's that other device you have there on your left hand side? 
So uh, this is the Motorola Zoom and um, it's actually uh, just a couple of days old. Uh, we bought it on Ver uh, Verizon um, and we found out that uh, all of our software development uh, was sort of nice. So it's actually running out of the box uh, petit petit on the Motorola Zoom. Um, so we uh, actually can do quite the same thing here on the 10 inch. Uh, and I really like that because there's much more space, for example, for your inbox so that you can actually look at um, your emails really in full screen. Uh, so 10 inch is certainly also very nice uh, form factor for Petit Petit. Wow. And it's running on hon uh, Honeycomb out of the box, which is oh, that's amazing. what I like. That's yeah. amazing. Okay, I want to go back to that reference you made about your neuroscience background. Uh -huh. so because you have a neuroscience background, the actual design and um, makeup of the back end, uh, did you try to mimic it in terms of um, brain behavior or how people have yeah. brain this is this is exactly the idea behind Petit Petit. So uh, what we do is uh, we have our own database uh, structure which is based on associations rather than on tables. Um, and the nice thing is uh, that you can really build graphs of knowledge. It's not like um, you know mapping things uh, on each other, but it's really a graph. So it's very easy for us uh, to mimic uh, or represent all sorts of. Uh, social graphs uh, like the Facebook social graph or a Twitter social graph or your email social graph um, because our database structure is actually built from ground up to represent that and I think uh, you know the human brain is certainly also representing things in a networked fashion. Do you have any um, best case scenarios where Petit Petit can actually be used in enterprise? Yeah, I mean, other uh, certainly. When when you look at um, what we do with our messengers, uh, so this is the home screen replacement. Uh, what we have with, uh, with these uh, three screens, right? But um, when you're actually shifting gears from uh, perception to production, uh, then you also uh, may use our uh, messenger. And the messenger is uh, an application that is for writing messages um, for all sorts of channels, like emails, uh, short messages, um, uh, Twitter notes, and so on. And the nice thing about it is uh, that you have the co-pilot here. And the co-pilot is um, showing you uh, or making you suggestions about related knowledge uh, that you use in this situation. So these people, for example, are those people I'm work, uh, working quite often with. So I can uh, drag out Matthias uh, and add him to the recipients. You're gonna see that the behavior of the copilot change because usually I CC uh, these people to Matthias and I can add again some guy here um, with an email address uh, and I haven't typed anything yet, right? And then let's say I start writing um, I read an article about Nokia uh, then what you see is the places have changed um, and then you open up uh, that you get the articles that you uh, actually retrieve uh, with the PTPT browser and stored them because we not only store the URL we also store the content and cross associated and recognize oh that's a company and that article and so on so you can actually um, preview that article and say yes that's the right one and then you take it and just add it uh, to your message and so I actually just wrote that note what I was intending to, but everything else was done by Petit Petit. Uh, and we think this is really um, making a change uh, from consumption on these tablet devices to production. And we want to make you more productive. Raman, thank you so much for the interview. Thanks. And how are you enjoying South by Southwest? It's, it's actually fantastic. I'm going to return here. When you compare that to um, CBIT or Barcelona, this is this is quite a different thing going on because uh, people are re really relaxed, uh, creative. It's not like um, everything is business driven and uh, too many suits here. It's just um, people having fun and playing with technology. So this is your first South by Southwest. Yes, but definitely not my last. Okay, looking forward to seeing you next year. Yeah, definitely. Okay, too. thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Cheers.